Okay, so it's time for another size comparison video, and it's been a long time since I've done any of these, and I'm looking at the Mega Gargant today. So, my one here, I've just blue tacked the hands in, as you can see, it's got like one of the gate, is it gate smasher or something like that? One of the arms from that, and one of the hands from the Kraken Eater. You can also see I've added a couple of extra, extra little bits on him. Um, I, he's not actually finished, I'm going to add some more. Bits and pieces, he's got a little Bone Reaper shield and like a coffin lid thing on there. Um, I want this guy to be sort of filled with lots of random stuff attached to him. And I'm going to magnetise different arms on him so I can use different variants. But I'm not going to do the same thing with the head. Some people have done the same thing with the head. Um, the head can come off quite easily um, with the shoulders. But um, I want to have a boat on his back. So you can't really do that with that. Not easily anyway. I've got plans, I just convert one of the arms for a crack and eat a variant. But anyway, we're not here to discuss any of that. We're here to compare the size of this thing. Let's start by comparing it to one of the actual giants, and I do have one here. I'm going to take him over this side. So this is a regular sort of ale um, guzzler, or whatever they call themselves now. So you can see, he is a lot taller than the previous giant. He is hunched over a little bit, but even so... There's a big size difference there, and obviously, obviously you can see mine slightly converted, but it doesn't change his size. So yeah, nice and huge in comparison. And yeah, let's get some more miniatures in. I apologise, I'm just filming this on my phone, so all over the place. Here's a little clan rat. See the difference there, you could stomp on him quite easily. Um, a Stormcast. Again, you could e easily stomp on him, give him a kick. Yeah, Stormcast's about the same size as this sort of building, almost. This bit of building that he's throwing around. So, yeah, very cool. And let's look at some bigger stuff. A lot of people, obviously, will want to know how they size up compared to knights, and we will look at them later on. And the Imperial Knights, there's. Uh, Mangler Squig. You can see, catching up with height. So, yeah, these things come on a big round base. Um, same size as a zombie dragon base. Um, smaller than the more crusher base. Bring him in. I apologise, my more crusher's a bit... Ooh. Yeah, we're not glued to the base either, I'm going to do some stuff for the base, so... So yeah, the more crusher base is quite large. Uh... Also have Marafi. So yeah, I'm just just showing off a few sort of random stuff here, not everything. But yeah, you see Marafi is almost as tall as him. Really cool. And we also have a Hydra. And you can see. Size difference there. Looks like he could probably kick the Hydra's ass. And I'm sure rules wise he probably can. Uh also got Nagash. I love Nagash. Um I wish mine was on a oval base or round base. Whatever he comes on, but yeah, Nagash is a lot taller than him, as you can see. Of course not as bulky. But there they are. Gives you a good idea of a size. Now I actually did expect these to be slightly taller. I must admit. Um, but still, a lovely miniature. I know a lot of people same for the price. Um, you know they thought they would be taller, but I think the price, as well as GW's sort of recent price creep, I think um, because you get so many other pieces for these, you have. I think there's about six different hands you can have, three different types of heads, and they're all quite interchangeable quite easily. Loads of spare bits to go around for belt and whatnot as well, two different types of feet. So there's a lot of spares there, and you probably are paying for them a little bit. Um, so lastly, let's bring in an Imperial Knight. And there you go, look. I think GW are probably aiming for the same height as the Knight. And you can see they're very similar in height there. Of course, the knight is very bulky. But 
Yeah, I mean, they are the Imperial Knight faction of Age of Sigma, as we expect them to be. I like them. I think they are a good height. Maybe they could be a bit cheaper, but as I say. Um, you can easily magnetise them to be whatever variant you want as well. So, yeah, I think you do pay for the extra spare pieces. But it's a, it's a gorgeous kit. It goes together beautifully. Really easy to put together. And, yeah, I'm, I look forward to painting him, but I do want to add more and more accessories. I want this guy to be just full of random stuff that he's collected and strapped onto him. That's basically what they are anyway. But yeah, I've got, to, I've got to make some conversions to them. But yeah, that is the size comparison for the Mega Gargan. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've done any of these, but people do seem to like the size comparison. They are useful. And if there's any miniatures you would like to see, um, do check our account. There should be a playlist for size comparisons. And if you have any requests, do leave them in a comment down below. And all that's left to say is thank you so much for watching. See you all in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out, and a link to our Patreon page also. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.